Claymore's version 3.5 CryptoNote CPU Miner. In addition to his GPU Miner, Claymore has a CryptoNote CPU Miner that you can use for Monero. You can go to his Bitcoin Talk thread and download it through the Mega or Google links. I'm going to be using the Dash T switch. I have an i7 on the computer I'm going to be testing this on. So it says if your CPU has 8 megabytes of L3 cache, i7 CPUs, use Dash T4. So I'm going to be testing it out with that switch. I'm doing this on Windows 10. So I'm going to be using the instructions at the bottom of his post for low speed in Windows 8.1 64-bit. This is actually instructions on how to get the fast speed working. So I'm going to be using those instructions at the bottom to run the CPU miner. Now I've already got it downloaded so I'm going to go and extract the archive. I'm going to change the destination folder name slightly, get rid of some spaces, get rid of the extra stuff at the end. I'll extract the files, go into the folder, into the next folder. I'm going to copy these files back one folder just so it's not double foldered. And I'll delete the extra folder. Now this is pretty much the same as setting up the GPU miner except for those instructions at the bottom of his post. I'm going to open the pools.txt and I'm going to open pool 64 bit batch file. I'll go to dwarf pool as I'm going to be using dwarf pool for this example again. I'm going to copy the servers and put them into the pools text file. So I'll put the USA server in as the first one and the EU server in as the second one. I'll change my ports from 3333 to 8100 on both of them. That's done, so I can save the pools text file and close that. Next, I will create my command. So I'm going to add the dash T switch, dash T space 4. I'll copy that switch from the post and paste it in at the end of my command. I'm also going to change the default address to my own address, so I'll open my address text here. Copy my Monero address and paste that over the default address. Now on Dwarf Pool I can give my rig a name, so I'm going to name it 4790 as this is a 4790K. It's only running on stock clocks though, no overclock. So I'm going to follow these instructions at the bottom of the post. It says make sure you're logged in as admin, I am. It says create a shortcut for the 64-bit executable on the desktop. I'm just going to create a shortcut in the folder for now. I'll right click on it, select rename, and just rename it to my liking. Then I'll right click on it again and go to properties. Next it says to specify the command line parameters. So I'm going to take my command that I created, copy everything after the exe, and then paste that into the target in the properties box. I'll put a space in and I'll copy the rest of my command after the exe. So everything from dash u to dash t space 4. Copy that and then paste it in after the exe in the target line. That's all done so I can click on apply. Next, I want to click on the Advanced tab and select Run as Administrator. Click OK and close my Properties tab. 
and then I'm going to go in and disable UAC as it says. So I'll go to Control Panel, User Accounts, click on User Accounts again, and at the bottom change User Account Control Settings. Make sure that that's all the way at the bottom there. You want that bar all the way down, never notify. So that's already done. I can close this window, close Control Panel, close up my text documents there. Copy my shortcut onto the desktop and double click on it and it should start the CPU miner. Now you might have to allow these executables to run in your antivirus as is normal with Claymore Miner. So just make sure that you have your antivirus set up properly to allow these to run. And we can see the CPU miner has started up. It's finding shares. I generally get around 300 hash per second on this CPU. Here it's showing 279, 278, 279. I'll restart it again later and you'll see it's getting around 300. Now you can dual mine. I've opened up the GPU miner to run at the same time as the CPU miner. And you can do this. It should work. Now it says I'm getting 4,383 hash per second. It's a little bit slow. I didn't have the cards overclocked. I didn't have the memory overclocked. So I restarted it with the memory overclocked on my 470s. This is seven 470s. Now I'm getting over 4,700, between 4,700 and 4,800. I've also restarted the CPU miner and you can see it started off at 310 hash per second. Dropped down to just under 300 when I started to run the GPU miner at the same time. So I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.